Yo, what's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? New crack and what's poppin'? It's your boy Trevor the Young and and Spa, baby. Trevor the Young and Spa. Yo, what's up, guys? Man, what's up? What's up? If you haven't already, man, is this your first time? Please hit that notifications button. Please turn on your notifications button and give it a like, yo. And subscribe to this channel, man, because I share with you guys my heart and I keep it real, man. Straight from beginning, straight to the end. Now, what's up, guys, man? What's up? What's up? If you guys haven't already, man, my name is Trevor Roland Young. Also known as Inspire, man. Um, I've been doing these kind of videos for quite a while now. I think, like, since 2013. You know, here we are in 2019. But tonight, I want to share with you guys what I wrote last night for our prayer meeting. So, me and my other family members, we hold a, a prayer meeting group. And there's a lot of things that I want to get off my chest. Literally want to get off my chest. So here goes it, man. Here we are in 2019. I believe it will form my heart that um, God's teaching us right now. You don't have to be Christian. You don't have to believe in Him. But I believe with all my heart that He's teaching us to get rid of the old and in with the new. To make room for the new. If that makes sense, man. Um, so what, what, I'm, what I want to talk to you guys tonight, man, is about... This is the year of getting stripped away. This is the year of stripping away. Where God is showing us, man, that He's trying to make room for the new. So how can, how can He make room for the new when you're still holding on to the old, old, if that makes sense? How can He make room in your life for the new if you're still trying to hold on to the old, which is the past of your life? If that makes sense. So God's teaching us to be stripped away from the old to make room for the new. I want to ask you guys something, man. Why do you think God's stripping us away from something of the past? Why do you think God is stripping us away from the past? So let that be a thought to you right now, man. Really think about that right now. Why do you think God's stripping us away from the past? Uh, to narrow it down, man, I believe with my heart that God's teaching us that He's trying to make room for the new. You know, He's trying to grab us and be like, we're, He's trying to grab us away from the old and what we do know and trying to prepare us for the new. So why do you think God's stripping you away from everything? You know, what is in your life that God wants you to get rid of? Or what is in your life where God wants to strip you away? A few scriptures I want to share with you guys right now, man. A few scriptures that I want to focus on right now. That's Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a brighter future. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a brighter future. God wants us to be set free, man. God wants us to be set free in our own life in order for Him to make to make things happen to make it happen man you know we just found out that um we'll be leaving our house uh we've been here for coming up two years whatever but now we'll be leaving at this very moment man, i you know it's human nature to feel discouraged to feel discouraged but man i'm filled with hope you know i'm like well, i'm ready and i'm excited for the new beginnings and that's what god's trying to teach us man is that he's trying to make room um, for the new, you know, and a lot of things have to be sacrificed. So the reason why I shared with you guys this man is that many may know that I gave up my forester. I gave up my forester for my son's first birthday, which is coming up in May. Um, you know, that is father's love. You know, I've had my car for three years. And I loved my car, man, the forester, but I love my son more. So God's trying to show me that He's trying to make room for the new. In order for that man, the old must go. As it says in Proverbs 4 verse 25, Let your eyes look straight ahead, fix your eyes, gaze directly before him. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 8 to 9, Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me, but he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness, therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Now, I'm so amped for this message, being stripped away and brought onto something new. 
um, you know, we have to let go of the past and just believe that God still has something for us, right? As it says in um, Isaiah 53 verse 5, But He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chariot for our peace was upon Him, and by His stripes we are healed. By His stripes we are healed. You know, so that's the little scriptures I want to share with you guys, man. Philippians 4 verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything but in everything. In every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. God will provide for you. God will provide you with what you need when you stop being afraid of letting go of what you want. God wants us to let go of the past and move forward to what else He has for us. But yeah, that's something I'm going to share with you guys right now, man, is this year of getting stripped away and um, knowing that God's got a plan and purpose for each and one of us. Hope you guys take that to heart. Hope you guys be encouraged, be inspired, man. I'm turning my tests to a testimony, my mess to a message, and my cries to inspiring lives. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Trevor the Young. Inspire. It inspires me to inspire you. Be inspired, man. I'm inspiring lives one step at a time. I'm going to inspire one person. That will indeed inspire others. Inspire to inspire. Inspire to dream. Peace, love and respect, man. Be inspired. Be encouraged. And hit that notifications button, man. Turn it on. And subscribe to this channel, man. Peace, love and respect.